Start with cutting up four pieces of paper towels like so, two for each side of your face. Line them up to make sure that they are the right fit and lay them down with liquid latex. Now you're going to want to go in and cut open your wound so you're able to add some blood and gore to the insides. Now you just repeat the same thing that you did on the other side. I also recommend that you should try to wait for the liquid latex to dry before you start to peel it open, unlike what I do here. Make sure that both sides are even. And then try not to open your mouth because it'll tear open the liquid latex. Continue putting liquid latex on the paper towel just to make sure that there's no white spots showing. You also do not need flush colored liquid latex for this. You could also use concealer or even foundation to make sure it matches your skin color. Here I go again, being impatient with the drying, and also smacking myself in the face, but it's normal. This part is completely optional, and it probably doesn't even make any difference if you do this, but I am doing the red from my bruising kit. Again, completely optional. Using the back of a makeup brush, because I do not have a palette knife, I am going into the wound with some bloody scabs and trying to get underneath the paper towel to make it have more of a real effect. My cat wanted to be in the video. Could have just asked. Continue dousing your wounds with um, bloody scabs and 
try to make sure most of the liquid latex is covered in blood just because you know it might not match your skin perfectly as you can see on me. I'm now going in with some FX blood. Um, it's a very sticky blood that I think is perfect because you can manipulate exactly where you want it to lay. Um, it's not very runny, um, but it's definitely sticky and it will ruin your clothes, so heed warning. And I'm also going to point it out before anybody else gets a chance to because how embarrassing. Can you guys just look at my makeup line on my neck? What was I thinking? I also think this part is really cool because you get to cover up all of your pimples with bloody messes like they weren't ever there. So unfortunately my camera stopped at this point. Um, I wasn't able to catch it in time, but basically what you do is you just cover your lips with lipstick and then you put FX blood all over your lips and drip it down your chin and then just keep going back in and putting more blood around if need be. Also remember, the bloodier the better. So this part is also completely optional. Um, I am going in with black eyeliner underneath my eyes. Um, I just think this adds more to the effect. Um, what I'm doing here is um, I'm going to be smudging underneath my eyes and making it look like I'm crying because obviously if your face is ripped, you're going to have a couple tears. Again, I just think this adds more to the effect of the ripped face. Um, it's not really Joker-esque with the crying. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but I'm literally making it up as I'm going here. So, again, you do not have to do this part. <laughs> 